Have you seen the Google My Business posts and wondered what they are and what they have to do with SEO, search engine optimization? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm Trisha Clements, Chief Fur Wrangler with MuttBuds.com. I'm a social media manager specializing in pet businesses and video. Today I want to talk to you about your Google My Business post. What exactly is that? So it is basically a free mini ad for you that Google is now putting out there for you to put on your Google My Business page. So what you need to do is go into your Google My Business and where it says add a post, that's where you need to add your Google My Business post. Once you put a post there on your Google My Business, it will come up in your search results right there. People are gonna see it. It's basically free advertising and Google allows you to put an image there with it. So make sure you do that because you know how important images are. Currently, you're not able to put a video or a GIF file up there. Who knows, I'm sure that may change in the future, but for right now, it's an image that you put with some text and then they give you the option to put in a link. Make sure you put that link in. What type of posts should you be posting to your Google My Business? You can do all kinds of things, anything from promotions, events, sales, specials that you're having. If you have a new product out and you want to emphasize something about that, make sure you do that. If you have a new blog post out, put an image up there and lead people to your blog post. Remember, there is a clickable link on there and that allows you to lead them wherever it is you want them to go. For instance, if you're talking about a specific product, you can send them to that page where you're selling that product. If you're talking about a blog post, you can lead them to the blog post. That clickable link is really, really important. You basically have free ad space there on your Google My Business. And you know how important Google is for SEO, search engine optimization. It's really important because this is also what comes up in your maps. So if someone searches and finds your business and it is there and they see the Google My Business and they also find it on the maps, they're gonna see this post right there with the image and also only the first 100 characters show up and then they have to click it to get the additional characters. There is a 300 character limit, so but the first 100 characters are the most important. That's what's gonna pull them in and get them to click that link. When you post your image, you do need to be aware that all, everything on social media has different sizes and they haven't really publicized exactly what size is best. I've looked and found different conflicting information. So the best thing is you can upload something, take a look at it, preview it, and see if it works. I found for me the best image size that works is 660 pixels by 500 pixels. That seems to work the best. It makes sure that everything is in the image. You can see it, nothing's getting cut off. If you have text there, that is on your image to draw people in and get them to read the rest of it. So you wanna make sure that they can see all of the text on your picture. You're allowed to put up to 10 posts on your Google My Business page at one time. The first two and a half actually show up in a carousel format so that you can scroll and see them. So anything more than that, they have to click more to see them. So those first two and a half posts are the most important. Basically your two posts, maybe your third one, but those are the most important posts. Now, one thing you do need to remember is all of your posts will expire in seven days, except for your events. If you're posting an event to your Google My Business, one thing is that doesn't expire until after the event has happened. So they do last a little bit longer, but the individual posts themselves only last for seven days. 
So that is one thing that you need to remember that you do need to be posting to that and at least once a week, if not more. So you may want to go ahead and have several posts up there and post a little bit more often so that you don't have a post that's expired and then nothing shows up on your Google My Business post when people search for you. Make sure that you're including a call to action in your text and that is also really good that they've given you a link. You have numerous options on there and you can include that link. Tell them this is where you're going to go to purchase the product, to learn more about the service. And that's what you want them to do is click on that link and go to your site, your sales page. If you've got a lead magnet, something that you want to lead them to. Remember, Google is the largest search engine. It's where everyone goes to search for things. So if they're giving you a free opportunity to have some basically mini ad space, go ahead and use it. Use that. It comes up on Google Maps as well, which is really good for SEO purposes for your website. You are having people search for you and they're finding you and then they're finding this mini ad that they can click and go right to your website. Another thing, when they click there on there, they have an option where they can share that directly to social media. If it's something really good and they want to tell their friends about, they can share that right there from the post on the social media. Let me know in the comments below how you're using Google My Business posts and how it's helping you and your SEO for your website. I also have a free Google My Business checklist for you. You can download that. The link is in the description below. Make sure you grab that list. It has everything you want to make sure you have for your Google My Business to make sure everything is set up and ready to go so that your customers, potential customers can find you. I'm Trisha Clements with MuttButts.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.